was a huge topic, and um, I like Greg's little slideshow that you that was sent around where the, you know the benefits of early dry season burning, the benefits of wet season burning, plus the negatives as well, all documented in there. I thought that was very very powerful, very useful. Um, yeah. To, to show both sides, from some, some of the negative sides, such as erosion potential, um, that's something that can get touched on today. But uh, the knowledge is there. But yeah, and answer the question, Dave. Most clearly, we need to address this. And people like Sam and Litchfield are certainly going to embrace wet season burning. I suspect. Just talking to some of the Litchfield Rangers, that's where they're headed or want to head. All power to them. They've got a big job. Okay, thank, thanks, Lindsay, for those comments. Yeah, as Lindsay just pointed out, we haven't we haven't actually talked um, a great deal about the the negatives from an environmental point of view. There's been mention, mention of er, erosion, um, and I guess I've just, just sort of referred a few minutes ago to the potential of impact on certain um, organisms. Occurring theme is we've got a number of conundrums, um, and yeah, really whatever we do. There's, there's, there's pluses and minuses about it. There's enough statements this afternoon about the, the homogenising effect of or two, or a lot of dry season fire. Um, and I suppose more really what we've been hearing about the, the challenges of wet, wet season fire than, and the sort of smaller patchiness of it. The odds of it sort of taking, taking precedence over dry season fire is, I guess it's just not, not, not going to happen in the foreseeable future. But I think what we have seen is actually a, a really um, clear illustration of actually some of the, the, the positive things that can be done with wet season fire. To me, one of the things that several speakers have brought up is the question of actually reserving some fuel or keep, keeping those unburnt areas. I mean, that, that clearly is a huge issue. The other huge issue that's come through in basically those that talk about wet season burning is actually manage, or intensity of management of the sites that are being burnt. You know, it's sort of, I don't know, some of it was on, some of it was chopper, some of it was on, on foot. But it's actually a, a far more intensive and, I guess, dare I say, thoughtful um, and purposeful management of landscape than what we we often seem to see in the dry season fires. And the dry season fires are, you know, are really in some ways a pragmatic response to the, to the lack of resources to go in and manage the country more, more intensively. So, yeah, that's, I guess, all, all part of the, the, the conundrums.